Hey everybody, it's Adam, live and in person for you. Hey everybody, it's Adam, wonder who he'll interview, call me Adam.com. Hey guys, it's Call Me Adam and we are here live on the set of So Gay So Wet photo shoots in New York City with the founders of the campaign, Sarah L. Jones and Darren Melchiori. I was so excited to be part of the campaign a few years ago, and I wanted to know what, first of all, made you start this campaign. I just needed something to promote the artists, and it was an LGBT music festival, and we were trying to figure out what things could catch on to people and what would to promote people that are just out and proud, and I came up with this idea. It woke me up at 3 in the morning. <laughs> like they always do, and um, I was like, that might be kind of interesting, so I pitched it, and we just kind of ran with it. Mm -hmm. And I got seven of my friends, and Sarah being one of them, we launched it, we did it, and it just snowballed from there, and people just sort of latched on to the balls of it, and the, you know, the pride, and the message of being proud, and being a role model for others. And I love that it's incorporative of inclusive of everybody. Mm -hmm. I mean, you, I love that you have the so gay, so what, so bi, so what, so straight, so supportive, so trans, so what. Yeah. And it's great to, that everybody can be part of it, no matter what your um, orientation is. Absolutely. You've had a lot of celebrities do, the, do this campaign. So what has it been like to have all of these people do your campaign? It's just grateful. Mm -hmm. it, it's really, it's kind of rewarding to know that, that people are engaging with it and it's not just you know the everyday person but it's also you know people in the public eye and for me I know that when we get people who are quote unquote names one of the great things is that it puts it out there more and more people see it. A lot of the celebrities find us. Mm -hmm. I mean Aviva found us. We got a call we got a call from we launched a photo about 2 years ago um, and Aviva's PR rep called us and was like I, we saw this she loves it. And she wants to be a part of it. And we're like, that's great. And she became our spokesperson for a while. I'm very good. I have no shame. I will approach anyone, anywhere. <laughs> when we post things, we don't give you know, somebody who's a huge name more attention mm -hmm. or more you know, focus than you know, my friend from high school. Right. You know, we give everyone, everyone gets the exact same treatment. Mm -hmm. And I think that that's important for people to know that, you know, just because your story is up here, because you're in the public eye, doesn't make it any more or less important than, you know, just your average New Yorker walking in the street. Okay. That's one thing that I really like about the campaign that I've noticed, is that you do keep everybody on the same playing field, and I think that's great, because then it does, like you said, make everybody feel, uh, you know, that they're, anybody can be a part of it. Exactly. Yeah. So you just take, took the campaign to Muhlenberg College. Yes. What made you want Muhlenberg to be your first school. The seeds of this were actually somewhat planted at Muhlenberg. So mm -hmm. when I came out, I came out my freshman year in college and I had this horrible, hor horrible homophobic roommate, just horrible, and went out of his way to make my life hell. And there were two people at Muhlenberg who literally took me under their wings like, we know what's going on mm -hmm. and you're gonna be okay. Um, and they made me feel loved and they made me feel safe. Mm -hmm. And I always thought to myself that, after school, I'm gonna do something to sort of give back to that because I think it's when you come out, as exciting as it is, it's mm -hmm. also extremely scary. Mm -hmm. So you don't know who you can tell, you don't know who you can trust. Mm -hmm. So I wanted these campaign photos to create the people that you know will stand by you, who are your role models, and you can trust them. For somebody who wants to do the campaign but is maybe a little nervous to do it because they just came out or not everybody in their family knows or friends. What advice would you give to encourage them to do it, to make them feel comfortable, to know that it's okay to, to do it? If we know that you know, somebody walks in the door and they're very quiet, I know we're not going to be playing the, the crazy, dancey, you know, RuPaul, Madonna music that we might have played at yours. Yes. <laughs> perhaps. Maybe. Perhaps. Uh, but, you know, we try to cater it to each person and, and do what feels comfortable. And you can tell really quickly if somebody is still nervous and they can't shake it or they feel uncomfortable. And so, you know, I'll do something stupid mm -hmm. to calm them down and make them feel good. We don't let anybody do anything they're not comfortable yeah. with. I mean... If you don't want your name on the poster, we don't put your name on the poster. And that has happened a couple of times. And who's your wish list of celebrities <laughs> to... Do you want to start? 
Well, RuPaul, <laughs> Madonna, Madonna, of course, just little wish lists. Um. <laughs> Celebrity aside, I really want more straight guys to do it. Mm -hmm. uh, I think it, it's one thing to have the support we have, and it's an amazing amount of support with the gay community and the, and the, you know, the bisexual and the trans community is really latched on, and the straight community, but a lot of the times, you know, what I don't like to do is preach to the choir. I mean, I love that gay men come and do this shoot, and it means so much to me, but to make a difference, we have to, it's getting that straight community to support us yes. and to stop, you know, this hate that's going around. And, mm -hmm. you know, preaching to the choir is one thing, but to mainly make a difference, that straight community is the one that's going to help us. And if people want to be part of the campaign, um, how should they contact you? I mean, I know they can find you on Facebook at yeah. So Gay So What and on Twitter at So Gay So What. Probably Facebook. Yeah, Facebook okay. or Twitter are the Facebook best, Twitter fastest, fastest way. Okay. So thank you guys so much for coming. Thank you, Adam. You're welcome. And everybody watching, So Gay So What, again, is celebrating three years. You can find them on Facebook at So Gay So What and Twitter, So Gay So What, Instagram, So Gay So What. And I'll have all the links on Call Me Adam. So come and do the campaign, whether you're straight, gay, bisexual, transgender, whatever you are, come celebrate you with these amazing people. Just ask anybody who's had them, had them, made for the business of show. Call me Adam.com.